So you were probably expecting GPT-5 today, but no. Instead, OpenAI went back to its open source roots and released GPT OSS, possibly the most capable open model available right now. And that's not all. Google DeepMind also dropped Genie 3, a massive leap in world modeling. Let's get into it. All right, so right off the bat, this is going to be a bit of a different video. I was fully expecting to cover GPT-5 today, but I guess we'll have to wait a few more days for that. And so instead, we're talking about two massive drops that landed on the same day. OpenAI's brand new open source model, GBT OSS. Yes, OpenAI actually dropped an open source model. And Google DeepMind's Genie 3, their most advanced world model yet. Making separate videos for each just wouldn't make sense. So we're covering both right here. Starting with GBT OSS, according to Sam Altman, this model is a big deal. It's a state-of-the-art, open weights reasoning model with strong real-world performance comparable to O4 Mini that you can run locally on your own computer or phone with a smaller size. They claim this is the best and most usable open model in the world right now. So it actually comes in two sizes, a large 120 billion parameter version designed to run on high-end desktops and laptops, and a smaller 20 billion parameter version that can run on most computers and possibly even your phone. They even built a playground here where you can actually test out the models and ultimately download them and run them locally if you have the tech to do it. They're licensed under Apache 2.0, so you can even modify the model for commercial purposes if you wanted to. But what impressed me the most, by far, is the benchmark scores. I mean, these models are not far off from O3 and O4 Mini, and even slightly outperform them in some cases. Which, for an open source model, is kinda wild. Obviously, benchmarks don't tell the full story, but again, this is an open source, open weights model from OpenAI. I truly thought their open source days were behind them, but hopefully this kicks off a domino effect where other top AI labs start dropping open models too, like XAI, Google, Anthropic, and so on. This also feels like a massive blow to China's AI scene, which has pretty much been utilizing open source AI as a way to catch up and steal market share. So yeah, that's GBT OSS. I should also mention that they took extra precautions when training this model and heavily focused on reducing bio and cybersecurity risks without reducing its capabilities. We'll have to wait a few days to see what the community truly feels about this model, but in my opinion, this is a huge win for the AI community. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Now, OpenAI wasn't the only one making moves today though, because Google DeepMind also just dropped something massive, Genie 3. Genie 3 is apparently the most advanced world simulator ever created, enabled by numerous research breakthroughs. It features high fidelity visuals, 20 to 24 FPS, prompting on the go, world memory, and more. The best way to explain exactly what this is, is to just show you. Take a look. What you're seeing are not games or videos. They're worlds. Each one of these is an interactive environment generated by Genie 3, a new frontier for world models. With Genie 3, you can use natural language to generate a variety of worlds and explore them interactively, all with a single text prompt. Let's see what it's like to spend some time in a world. Genie 3 has real-time interactivity meaning that the environment reacts to your movements and actions. You're not walking through a pre-built simulation. Everything you see here is being generated live as you explore it. And Genie 3 has world memory. That's why environments like this one stay consistent. World memory even carries over into your actions. For example, when I'm painting on this wall, my actions persist. I can look away and generate other parts of the world. But when I look back, the actions I took are still there. And Genie 3 enables promptable events, so you can add new events into your world on the fly. Something like another person, or transportation, or even something totally unexpected. You can use Genie to explore real world physics and movement, and all kinds of unique environments. You can generate worlds with distinct geographies, 
historical settings, fictional environments, and even other characters. We're excited to see how Genie 3 can be used for next-generation gaming and entertainment. And that's just the beginning. Worlds can help with embodied research, training robotic agents before working in the real world, or simulating dangerous scenarios for disaster preparedness and emergency training. World models can open new pathways for learning, agriculture, manufacturing, and more. We're excited to see how Genie 3's world simulation can benefit research around the world. So this is actually insane. Like, this is the kind of stuff that makes me think we're in a simulation. I mean, just think about what this is going to look like 10 years from now, or even just 5 years from now. The CEO of Google DeepMind, Demis Hassabis, said it himself. World models is the next big step toward AGI. And soon enough, we're going to be able to actually interact with them, like playing a video game. So yeah, in just one day, we got OpenAI's most capable open source model ever, and Google DeepMind's most advanced world simulator to date. And remember, this week isn't over. GPT-5 could drop any day now, and Gemini 3 is right around the corner. So if you want to stay ahead of this stuff, make sure you're subscribed. And as always, I'll be catching you guys in the next one.